Well, for decades, Reverend Leon Finney Jr. won praise from Chicago politicians and was appointed to powerful public posts, which included managing a quarter of the city's public housing. Now he's facing allegations of fraud and self-dealing. And here to talk more about it is uh, one of the men who broke this, sun broke this all down, Sun-Times reporter Carlos Ballesteros with the Sun-Times. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good to have you here. Thanks. So uh, a lot of people talking about this, including Mayor Lori Lightfoot says she's going to be looking into this now. Um, I'm interested in how you guys actually found this out. So um, we were looking into a potential... Um, uh, we saw something on the street, essentially, mm. uh, and we got a tip. And we just started looking on the internet and found what we needed. Yeah, you know? definitely. Yeah, and uh, it, it's really kind of like uh, exploded since it came out. What's been, what's the fallout been like uh, uh, after the story was published on Sunday? I think people, uh, some people weren't surprised given the Reverend's past history of being accused of misappropriating taxpayer dollars, but some people were really surprised to know the extent to which um, this really went down, and um, you know. And we're talking, what, $20 million worth in taxpayer dollars, I think I, is what I read in the story there. That, that's a big amount, enough to make you really upset when you think about it. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, his organizations did manage about a quarter of all CHA units and in the last decade received $20 million bucks to do so. Um, and yeah, that, that number struck a lot of people too. Now, Reverend Finney, he's obviously not happy that this story is out there. It was actually uh, an encounter he had with a reporter of the Sun-Times this past Sunday, right? Yeah, our uh, my co-writer, uh, our co-writer Tom Shuba for the story, um, went to service at his church uh, on Sunday to see if he would address these things publicly, mm. and uh, he was promptly escorted out before things began. Wow. Yeah. So, what's the next step for you guys with this story? What what what's the what's uh what's cooking? There's plenty that was left on the cutting room floor that we're going to be uh, exploring in their own individual articles as, as the weeks go on. Uh, looking forward, the auction of the properties that were form that are still owned by the nonprofit will happen in about a month. So that's something to look, to look forward to, to see who buys those properties. Maybe the Reverend shows up and buys those properties himself, who knows? Maybe. Um, but we will see. And uh, yeah, between now and then, we'll have a few articles. All right, classic watchdog reporting from you guys. Really appreciate your guys' work and uh, appreciate you. You can read the story uh, on the uh, Sun-Times website. You can head over there. They got the full story there. We're going to have a link to it on the jamtvshow.com as well.